Hey, Catherine, live from Denmark, early. Oh, it's midday, 11.45. Um, yeah, I should have been on my live stream Monday, but oh my goodness, it has been so busy. Um, the sun has to have a lot of help in his apartment. It's getting so cold and it's time for me when I make a lot of warm soups and help people getting warmer. Um, you know, find warm, warm clothing and sort of, you know, be on the street and see if we can get a lot of people inside. Now it is get colder. Our finding shelters are also one of the basic things. I have been traveling a lot. Um, traveling and traveling for me, it is a kind of traveling when you're not you know, I'm, I'm normally not a person who likes to get out of my comfort zone. So I have certain areas I like to hang out in. And sometimes I have to you sort of cross my line um, by getting out of my comfort zone. And... Still, we have a lot of problem here with building and noises and stuff like that, sadly. Um, what I sort of, when I was sort of cleaning out and looking at my colors, I, I sort of, I needed to have some bright colors. Um, and I do know whenever I sort of, I have, this amount here. This is going to be a crochet blanket like this in stripes. This is sort of warm colored. It is about two metric, um, two meter uh, wide, and it has to be two times two. How you say it? It has to be two times two meters. I like big, cozy, colorful, warm, snuggly blankets. And what I'm actually doing to make them even more um, heavyweight or warm is that I normally I would crochet these in a big square, but like a granny square. But it as you can see, I'm actually crocheting in what we here in Denmark call a relief, but I have seen some call it a, a, like a waffle pattern. Um, I found it and I was starting up on it because I have, you know, found a lot of reclaimed yarn, as I call it. Um, that is has been old socks, um, leftovers from sweaters and stuff like that. When you know it's like little bit of pieces, and sometimes I find them on a very clear sale like this in one skein. This has cost me about two dollars for. Normally, price would be 20 krona. Um, I got it for 12 krona. It's about 100 gram to a 260 meters in one of these. And I simply to sort of brighten it up a little bit. I make them into these little skeins of yarn, um, about five gram. Um, and they're lightweight. I take two of them to put together. So I also have, so these are very 
old, old one. It's from a company. It's like these two um, lightweight strings. And it's about 30 years old, this game, because this company um, doesn't exist anymore. And I like to sort of use old and new. And since it is very lightweight, I keep some of them like this because then I take, for example, I have a green here who need an extra string. So I changed with the dark one together with this. And that means out of three colors, I can get a lot of combinations of colors. Yesterday, I found here also a skein of yarn. As you can see, it was half price. Um, it has like, what I am actually doing is I'm taking each color um, like this. It has, as you can see, four blue colors like this. So what I'm actually doing now is I'm separated them in each color and I am going to incorporate it in some of my colorful projects um, when I play with them. Um, because yeah you can you can knit a scarf and you can do whatever you want but I was like no, no, I want to separate them and use them in here. So I have some blue and gray colors. Um, that was I have been doing. Um, it is, I, I want to say it is uh, acrylic. It's not wool. Um, because I like to have, sometimes I get an entire sweater in a cheap wool material and yeah, it's, it's not that, I think I'll take that one now here, um, together with this one and I take them a little randomly and not, I do, do sort of, <laughs> take them so I think okay I want a dark stripe I want a light one you can actually see this I have down here is almost similar but another quality and I, I really like that sometimes you you meet the same color because sometimes when you turn you get two rows of the same color and I don't mind that in the edges, but I am a little sort of, I don't want them in in the center. So I try to avoid, as you can see, it goes like this. The beneficial, or as, as you can see, I don't take an entire row. And I like to play with the yarn in that way that I sort of, you know, make them into smaller coops like this, because that means the heavier yarn is shorter the length of it, but that means it gives this magnificent structure to it. Um, and how I sort of doing it is I took up a double crochet. Um, the first row is just a plain, row of double crochet um, then the next row I don't go at top of it I go around the crochet like this I want to show you what I'm doing is I go inside here and take around here let's see if I can do it it's pretty heavy so normally it has to it in my lap. What I'm doing is I'm putting it around like this um, and again I take it around here so I go 
around the crochet and I take it from front, back, front, back. So I switch about how I am taking it. And you can actually find it on YouTube. Um, instead of having two between here, I take a second one, go behind here and make a double crochet like this. And again, down around here and like this. And that means you are sort of waffling it. You're making it very thick and cozy. Um, like this. And it is very relaxing because I really don't know how many stitches I have. I didn't count them. I I just do that. When I need a blanket, I said I want it to be one and a half meter. I want two meters. And then I simply started to um, stitch up and I take um, a measurement and I say, okay, I have one meter here and a second meter. Okay, and then I give it about 10 more stitches because it will sort of I crimp together. And so, no, I don't know how many I got, but But if you count, I have about 20 uh, stitches on centimeters. That means I probably have about 200, 300 stitches. I don't know. And I sort of don't care. Um, what I have it for is to play with the colors. Uh, you're more bright colors, you more fun it is just and the beneficial about when you have it in this size when it's cold and you sort of need something to keep you warm and you need to be busy um, you can warm yourself by you know let it rest on you and at the same time uh, when you work on it it sort of keep you warm and you can see the colors the bright colors give you i mean it it's make me happy just to sit down and just relax and do this um yeah it has been busy it has been very very busy i had a lot of things i needed to have mended um so I don't know if I can see I have one, but sometimes the chat box doesn't work. Let me have a look here. Do we have someone here? No, but we have one. I just need to see if somebody wants to chat with me. I'll say hey for the one I have here. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, I have been busy. It has been quite a week for me, a couple of weeks. I have been doing a lot of things lately. I have been cooking, cleaning, whatever, <laughs> as you say, but um, what I'm actually trying to do is to organize my brain a little bit. And the problem is that I need to sort of, you know, when you try to sort of in your colors and your yarn and go through everything. I have been for a workshop where we also did a lot of things. I was trying to knit out a heart and what you actually call like a gobelin knitting. Um, 
so I I was supposed to knit it in a heart shape. Um, I can show you later how that turned out. Um, not finished with it yet. Um, the you know the the strange thing about or the worst thing as you can see it can give you a front and back that looks similar but you have a lot of thread that has to be mended afterwards and that means i am more sort of kind uh chacot knitting where when you knit with a lot of colors you sort of knit them together um so you secure the threads behind um, what you are actually doing on the project. The next thing is I have always dreamed about, you know, sometimes we need, I have a basic pattern for my long sweater dresses and colorful things. And I do a lot of things in stripes um, because I am very fascinated by stripes. Um, and I also do like to knit cable patterns. So I am thinking about I need to knit something in stripes with a lot of colors, but keep a straight cable needle pattern to it so and then I have been uh, at the museum and seen a lot of displays of old clothing old dresses um, and color weaving and stuff like that and to get inspired and have you know like a color boost hello good morning maria i love the way you have played with paper and colors and i look forward to see today i am playing with yarn colors all my scraps and bits and pieces um and make myself a happy blanket. <laughs> um, so it is good to see you so early. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, I'll hope. Thank you. And I hope and wish you a good day's work here uh, in Denmark. We are about midday. So. Of course, you're welcome. You're watching mine. I like to watch your videos. I I sort of put you on my phone too. So I have you on my computer and I have a, a account here, a separate account on my phone. So I took you as a doubled. So I can even when I'm out and I get no sometimes uh the phone is actually the one that gives me the notifications sometimes um youtube and my computer don't give me any bell rings so i am sort of happy i have you here both ways because that i can when i'm in the bus or in the train i can just sneak out my phone and watch your videos and I even got some earphones so I can listen to you when you're working. Um, but, and of course, you are getting a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, YouTube is, is very weird with the, the notifications. And it is pretty sad because we do like to have notification of our friends i want to show you something um i have just been shopping too because i got two new books books <laughs> as you can see what i'm playing here here it is my yarn 
uh, scraps. This is a lot of reclaimed um, from old sock sweaters and stuff like that. Hello, dude. Oh, I missed you too. <laughs> Thank you. As you can see, this is where I play with my tiny bobs of yarn like this. As you can see, I collect bags and sit and make these little colorful skeins of yarn of, you know, something you, you have a color you don't know what to use for. You have a leftover, you have find only one like this, but you really like the color team. So you make them into little skeins. And when I get something like this, I like to separate the colors um, and mix it into something else. Um, I have just got this. <laughs> As you can see, first of all, <laughs> I got this, and this is a very um, unique book. Uh, I got it uh, on a clearance sale. Oh, you just on your way in bed. Oh my God, thank you for being here, dude. And this is actually Fair Island Knitting. As you can see, it is a book of a very beautiful book, uh, How to Knit Fair Island um, Knitting. And you have all the patterns, the original patterns from the Fair Isle, even socks and as you can see here, I, I got these beautiful, beautiful patterns. And I know I have a friend, she, she really, and this is how to knit shoes, how they are knitting these very uh, shoes that they're like a sock shoe. Uh, they use them in, in the wooden uh, shoes, you know, uh, in the winter. They have these inside the boots instead of socks. I have, you know, all the colors here. It is a very nice book. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it, it is very, very, as you can see, a lot of magnificent um models to it and you can also maria maria they are also crocheted because this is a combined crochet knitting so you can actually also there is an explanation how to crochet a sweater like this in single crochet and how you sort of crochet the pattern into it so you, if you can't knit, it, it, it has a section where it explains to you how you crochet it. And, and that's what I really like about it. And as you can see, it has the patterns like this. And it only shows this, the knitted part of it. But if you are crochet, you can, here is the pattern row. And they even did it in the colors that you sort of needed to it. And normally, yeah, it it, it, it really does, dude. Uh, when you're crocheting, it uses a lot of wool. And normally price for this one was 300 kroner, but it was uh, clear sale on 100 kroner. So, I actually saved 200 krona on this one, and I really liked it. Uh, the next book I had to order specially 
was this one. It is also quite uh, expect. Uh, it cost a little bit more. It cost three hundred and fifty krona, but it's like this, and it is actually my passion because you can actually. It has, as you can see, the sewing instruction how to make your old own one of these dresses. So what it actually is, it's a pattern book. As you can see, it has like it from inches to metric and she explained how to make these dresses here. There is the pattern. You can stitch these dresses and here is the sewing pattern. Um, so it is from English women's dresses and the construction uh, from 1660 to 1860. And as you can see, it has all the details into it like this. And it is here. Um, the benefition is that I could get it on English. And that means that the, yeah, it's a costume dress, but it is an authentic costume dresses um, here, how they put on these little things here. And I really like it. It's so cool because um, some of them are actually not that far out. So I can tell you. You can actually meet it. There is this beautiful coat to it, and how to sort of put things and how to make. As you can see, the embroidery is in there too. How to put on the laces and stuff like that. Um, it is quite an expensive book but it is also a beautiful one <laughs> and I, I my biggest wish was to buy this is number one but it, it, they have one that say number five yeah the, the bustle on your backside yeah oh dude I was out shopping in a, a shop and I was existing, it is very highly fashioned now. When when you actually buy your knickers and they're actually padded, I was going to have some new uh, under knickers or under ladies or what you call it. And I was like, oh my God, they are started like the bras that sort of put all this padding to it. Now they're actually stitch padding on the bottom part on, on, on the knickers. And I was like, can't you get uh, knickers on these without these pillows on the?" And she said, no, because it is actually highly fashioned now to have a big butt. Yeah. So I was like. Jesus Christ, I think I better go at home and make my own without these. But it was like, you know, every boot here has a big around like this. And I said, you know what? My butt is big enough. I don't need to have it, you know, like like a booby pad on my butt. It was like, but it was highly fashion. So every new lingerie was made with these pockets for padding. I was like, no, 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 no. So it, it's big booties. Uh, fat, and I was like, okay, about the booties, I can easily do that myself. So I am highly fashioned up here, but apparently not down here because i really don't want to have a bigger booty <laughs> yeah oh oh my goodness you know it it really did crack me up that i mean it's it's like crazy 
<laughs> but I I really like to show um when I get a little order here, I am going to show you how to make because my new year's um promise to myself is I am going to make a big red dress. And I think I want to make a corset to it. I want to make um a coat if you see this one here as you can see it is like having a look at this you can you can take a laundry basket <laughs> oh you you are trying oh maria yeah but it's it's highly fashioned sweetheart don't worry be happy um yeah so as you i really it has um i mean this is the the most experience here i i got all these dresses how it's made and um yeah here there are actually here as you can see dude these are the dresses i can actually make from this book here and even from the underwear to the construction of the dress so i think that will be quite a fun project with fashion number one um I am looking for number five because, but it is sold out. Um, but I was thinking, you know what, you just need one of them because it is, you know, quite expensive if you have to go and buy all of them. Um, but I thought it could be pretty fun to have one. And because, yeah, I really love that area here exactly maria where would i wear it i i could i mean i could wear it at home um but <laughs> no i was actually thinking about has it as a display uh dress because um could you see me rocking my curves in something that makes me even more like this yeah I, I mean have a photo show shoot uh with the dress on and sort of dress up um could be fun i have from the uh middle Eve. yeah i i could <laughs> and if and and i could even i could even hide him beneath the the skirt <laughs> And I can say, oh, no, you're not running away. I put him inside the crinoline. <laughs> so so he's not running off. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Goodness, no. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have actually. The, the Majesty, the Queen of Denmark, actually do parties like this, where where um, and we we have old buildings from the Renaissance where you if if you want to go to dinner these places you have to sort of be dressed up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, for me. Probably, yeah, oh my god, yes, he would. <laughs> so, so we actually have that here in Denmark where you sort of have to be dressed up from the time period, and the building is exactly, uh, you know, restored and kept in that style. And there's, uh, if you visit the Imitage Castle, they're also dressed like that from that period where 
that was uh, where where the castle was built so yeah and sometimes i have been invited to a party like that but had to sort of claim out because i didn't have anything to wear and i don't want to sort of just you know go and buy a cheap costume and i because i have it like you know either you do it or you don't and then i also think thought about around halloween for example if if i should ever be sort of invited to a halloween party or a costume party i i could have you know okay i can dress up like a renaissance woman i even know how to make these with cotton yeah it, exactly so next time i i get i am prepared for it because sometimes it can be difficult Uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, Chapa is hopster. <laughs> yeah, I, are you thinking about my son, hopster and Chapa? Chapa is a uh, hopster. <laughs> yeah, have a great day at work, Maria. Love you and take care. It was so nice to see you too. So yeah. So we we could dress up, yeah. My son here. Now I want my crochet. <laughs> it is like um yeah my color all here so but yeah we can do that so yay but it is sometimes you know you have some ideas and you want to get out with it and i really like it to sort of challenge myself uh once in a while by seeing things or creating something that is wonderful or you know different um but i i also have um you know i don't want to just make something just for making something um uh what are crochet a blanket it is <laughs> uh crocheting i here see here yeah, what i'm doing here it is a blanket here and it is two meters white and it has to be two meters 0.2 meters dude like this so what i'm actually doing is that is a crochet blanket um it make yeah exactly make something useful not just no, make something you can't use for it and what there is about it also a lot of people make oh recycling upcycling something and they take something crap and make it into what i call new crap yeah it this is simply um scrap buster yarn scrap buster as I have a fabric scrap buster, so what you call it. This is simply um, from tiny bits of yarn um, that I might have like this, as you can see. The, sometimes I have 
here, like this, scraps like this, um, small skeins of leftover yarns. I sort of split it up if there's a little bigger one. And I have something here. These are actually, um, yeah, it is um, exactly. And these are from old socks. This, some of them from sweaters and other knitted crochets, baby things or things that are gloves. You know, everything that sort of can make yarn out of. Uh, this is sort of this, uh, lightweight. So then I take, uh, for example, I, another that also needs has this structure to it so i'll just crochet these two together like this so i have a similar weight to the gar to the yarn here or i take a, a plain colored this is a very very old old one this company doesn't exist anymore so it is about 30 years old and some of them I found um, uh, in in thrift uh, tri stores, secondhand shops. Um, some of it is, yeah, yeah, have the sa same ply or weight. Yeah, so you just mix them together. And as you can see, it's the same I did with my winter dress here. This is my autumn knitting suit. Um, this one, as you can see, this is also another way I play with my yarn uh, here, where I simply start up knitting here um, like a sweater and just knit it long and then as you can see it is also scraps and pieces where i simply take them in small skeins like this and then a lot of them have also as you can see mixed in colors so they are sort of changing their appearance but so i have the same kind of weight to it and as you can see I have done with the sleeves I have taken and knitted them similar by sort of taking the skeins and make them so you can knit from both ends I have a video on how you sort of take one of these smaller ones uh, and split it up so you can knit from both ends of it and then I start up with, with the sleeves with the same skein so you get the same white of stripes to it and it will fit because one small skein can do like this. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, dude. And as you can see, it's really, Shined up in colors here, and then I have here. I want to show you. This is also one I have made. I'll need to put the right side out for you so you can actually see. Here I sort of chosen to, I am sort of <laughs> preparing them for winter because sometimes Fiona like to sort of snuggle into him and sometimes she sort of, you know, yeah, play with her claws so it can be ripped a little hole, so it's okay. Um, here you can actually see I made it like this because I wanted a uh, clear here 
like this. But as you can see, I also have this. It's a very, very old one. It has, some of them have actually these little sequins into it, yarn. And again, I sort of mixed the colors. I didn't have very much of each colors. Um, but I made, um, I have only one of these, that color. So I, okay, I did up with this. And then I started sort of, you know, take a stripe up and down. This is a very old one. You can actually see I had to make a hole here. But, you know, these are the ones I sort of have home. Um, sort of, yeah. And it is a more lightweight. Then I have the blue one here. As you can see, sometimes I, I take... This is also with the wrong side out, but as you can see, this has also these sequins to it. And again, I made the sleeves one color like this. Um, let's have it. I need to sort of have the right side out here. Um, it took about... Uh, 18 skeins of 50 gram that means about about a kilogram two kilograms of wool 20 skeins um of 50 gram um because it's it's like when you make it with little bits and pieces like this as you can see i had this hairy yarn here hairy and scary but as you can see i started up sort of put it um, in three rows it has a dark blue purple it is some of them have a dark purple to it um here as you can see i also have mixed the yarn differently yeah it's knitted yeah this is a knitted dress too where I start up with um, 250 stitches on uh, number four. I think it's number four, uh, circular needle number four. And then I simply just knit uh, two uh, ribbing, uh, two by two, uh, all the way up here. So I took about one, six um, rows of different colors. Then I took uh, three rows of this fur, fake fur yarn and started up like this. And then I also had some purple, um, which like hairy uh wool and this is wool knitted because what i'm actually doing is i'm sort of um taking it and dividing it if i have a wool sweater i make it into small wool balls like this and then it goes in the wool department this is uh the cheaper uh, uh acrylic uh, yarn, so it's what I call plastic yarn, you know, cheap acrylic or some really worn out like this sock yarn where I can see, okay, it is not particularly strong for a new dress or, you know, it has spots on it, coffee, you know, where I say, okay, it goes in this department. That means it it is going to be here. You can actually see I mix blue and purple. What what you actually do then? I, as you can see, use it for like this when I make blankets like this. Um. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, 
so also because a blanket is something that you like to have you, you know it, it has to be washable often and you don't wash wool as often as you do as this acrylic sort of um so oh oh you have to have to get an oven type oh you don't like the foam <laughs> Okay, do you need a break? Because then I'll go and get some coffee. So if you are way up. So uh yes, I am. Can can you hold on? Because I really need to go to the little you know NATO calls. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> then I'll join you in a minute. Yeah, sometimes it's Good morning, Tita. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> hello. And see this one cute I made for Fiona. Um, it's made like a granny square. Also, as you can see, I have mixed the colors and to get a, a heavy needle for it. So this is what I crocheted for Fiona uh, to snuggle into. 
Oh, it's midnight. Oh my God. Yeah. So it is. Uh, oh, she will love it. Yeah. Um, what am I actually doing here in my. <laughs> oh. Oh my God, it is right uh, early. Yeah, I, I'm uh, in good morning, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, thank you. See, this is all my leftovers. I'll take you a little closer. Um, it is a double crochet, dude. But what I'm actually doing, as you can see, I take a crochet, but I take around here. I don't go on top of it. I simply go down like this on each side of the crochet underneath here and back inside here, as you can see. So what in Denmark we are actually call this a uh, uh, double um, relief. That means you're making it like double, so you're actually crocheting on both sides of it. Every second time you go like this around, not on top of it. So you're making it very heavy, as you can see, and very stretchy. So when you hold it like that, you can actually see you, you are making it even thicker. Yeah, it makes it very thicker, and so <clears throat> it's it's it's. Oh, you know, you never seen that before. Oh, it's it's a very here in Denmark. It's very very old way to to crochet. Um. Blankets because when, when you have some lightweight yarn, but you want a very heavy um, So as you can you can actually I'll see if I can do it double crochet and go around here up and crochet you go around Down here Like this Yeah, I I have seen them. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, Annie and Carlos. Yeah, Anna and Carlos. Yes, I I have seen them. They're extremely good knitters. Um, they have even been here for a workshop. Um. So and and I I was not aware they have a YouTube channel, but I know they have um like an Instagram uh, page. Um, yeah, they they did the long tail. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you you really I mean. <laughs> Um, so I, re I really like the way they sort of do the things. Yeah, I, I will go and have a look, absolutely. Um, so, but this is a very old way to make a heavy uh, blanket on Kathleen. Uh, because you you actually crochet it double up so it gets even thicker and more like elastic to it and warm. It's not like when you are making these granny squares, you do have these holes to it. Um, and I like it because it gives a beautiful lightweight but heavy 
Oh, their gift and prices. Oh, uh, pr prim uh, knitting needles. Oh. Yeah, I, I have a lot of knitting needles. <laughs> I will definitely go and check them out, uh, that's for sure. As you can see, I have started up here, wanted to make a warm blanket, but as you can see, it is not very warm. And so I gave up on this one because it didn't satisfy my here. So it is. Oh, yeah, it, I have these, dude. Um, I got them um, long, long time ago. Um, and and I know it is very good for me, but you know, I am a very old fashioned kind of girl. <laughs> yeah, it's a circular uh, knitting needles. Yeah, I got some in rosewood. Um, I can show you later. Um, right now they are in progress. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean, right? I, I am kind of, you know, it's, yeah, I, I like my things too. So, but I need to unravel this later. I gave up and then I sort of found this old here. So playing with colors is my thing. And the beneficial is it's keeping you warm. And it's the same about crochet. Yeah, you girls could win. Oh, uh, Kathleen, yeah. We can actually check them out. You can see there are still different ways to hold um, your crocheting. You can hold it like that like this and go down like this this is the old way to do it where you sort of only use your fingers like this and you can hold it like this with a firm grip Yeah, must yeah, must stitches. Yeah, I know them. <laughs> yeah, seed stitch. Yeah, I do a lot of this uh, seed stitch too. Um, basic because I like the structure to it, and it's going pretty fast when you do seed stitches. Um, Actually, I hang on, I'll show you another blanket project. Oh, oh, you, you keep getting holes to it. I want to show you something, girls. Have a look at this. Yeah, I will skip that part too. <laughs> See, this is, as you can see here, look at this. This 
is my collection of colors. Um, as you can see, I have a bunch of colors in here. And again, this is from... Yeah, you love my balls. Yeah. <laughs> An old sweater that sort of didn't make it anymore. Too many holes into it. And yeah, see, um, here it is, as you can see. And this is the acrylic part blanket kind of bag. And it get all these strange uh some of them have some a little yeah uh, into it and what i'm actually doing is when i get scraps like this no no nothing is absolutely going to waste here and as again here it is actually i have this as you can see um that's what i'm making when i'm next to fiona it has as you can see oh yeah no fiona fiona doesn't care at all but i can assure you luna is i mean a nightmare um uh, because she really liked to play with them. So I had made her some of these uh, octopuses. <laughs> How many flipping projects have you? Yeah, I have. Um, this is a outdated project. It has to be unraveled. <laughs> I have, um, you know, to to be sure, dude. I like to have about uh, four knitting projects. I have about two crocheting projects. So sometimes I like to sit just and play with the colors. Um, and sometimes I simply take them as ufos and sort of finish them off like this i made for fiona i just finished it off and sometimes i get uh two or three done you get bored <laughs> so as you can see here is a gift for a friend this is also a lot of these and it is made in these seed stitches and in this as you can see i mix the colors in seven strings like that um take them up like this yeah that's the trick is to get them finished <laughs> and as you can see what i what i'm doing is i'm making a little stripe edge to it by sort of combine the colors so it get this stripey effect to it uh so the uh, and still they have um yes it is uh actually it's uh, a size 11. uh it's a plesna size 11 and this has to be as i call it a uh, tv yeah heavy tv planting yeah i oh thank you dude yeah so that that's how i didn't know did you see so what i'm actually doing is knit it up like this and i have um normally i would sit in the bed with this and snuggle up with fiona 
when I do this, um, like this. And so that is also what I, I sort of do. I like to sort of mix it up uh, like this. And I just knocked something down here. Yeah. Leave it for now. <sighs> yeah, your hands would be sore. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, and did you see my dresses, uh, Kathleen? Oh, yes, but it is, it has been on hold because of my shoulder i can assure you i can't sit more than 20 minutes 30 minutes maximum uh so that has been yeah kept aside i was showing you these are also some of the things because as you can see here, um, when I knit with heavy things, I sometimes take a pillow on my lap so it can rest on my lap so I don't hold it, the weight in my hands. It, the, the trick is to get it rested on a table so you sort of just move your fingers, not your shoulders. So when it, I mean, so you don't lift it up. Um, this is also made out of all my scraps and bits and pieces. Yeah, it's, it's a good idea when you have heavy projects, let it rest on a table uh, or on a pillow so you don't have the weight to it. These are blue and purple and gray in different uh, colors, even has these with the, the sequins to it. As you can see, these are all my wool uh, scraps or leftovers. All this for blankings uh, are acrylic uh synthetic yeah i i really like this type of wool um as you can see i have just been making them mending them because they're old so nothing lasts forever this is one of the first one i made as you can see i have chosen as as you can see to make it the same color up here but again, it is also a bunch of different colors and scraps here. Also have a few rows of this with uh, sequins into it in different colors. Um, some chip wool. This the other one here as you can see i do a lot of color coordinating thank you here is the other one this is my autumn dress again you can see i have sort of coordinated the colors a little bit um so and these are heavy wool too and sort of sort of brightening it up a little bit i took these very bright few stripes to it um and it is simply just like an ordinary sweater yeah yeah i could be rich yeah <laughs> but i don't need to be rich dude i am all they are very heavy and they are very warm and these are simply like and go when you go outside you you sort of snuggle into a sleeping bag 
knitted and I can assure you it is water resistant because it is wool. Oh yes, it is very good for this kind of weather we have here. As you can see, I have, as I told in the beginning, how I split the yarn up. And as you can see, these are stitched on afterwards. Uh, the other one are knitted all in one. Um, but I really like that you can actually see the difference. So the stripes doesn't match to it. So I have also just prepared this for winter so now they are going to be washed hand washed and have a, some lanolin treatment so they can be very winter ready because it is absolutely now because <laughs> we we already had our first freezing weather where I, no, no piling, no, nothing. It's so wonderful. It is great. And I really like that one too. It is a more lightweight. It's so, because it is smaller. But as you can see, I, I like the way I did this. So the sleeves are a one color, but here the stripes are wider because it's this, I have split it up like this. But again, I have mixed three colors here, as you can see. Um, so it is home mixed yarn. It is a light blue with a purple and a blue and a black uh, string. I have sort of knitted together. So that's how I sort of doing it. Um, I'm simply mixing it up. Um, so I get the strand thickness I need and here I did sneak some purple, deep purple into it, just to break the blue and the gray. And as you can see, I had some sequins to here. So that's what I have been doing, busy, busy me. Um, <clears throat> so, and, oh, thank you, Jude. These keep getting out, so it's still the same. And I just got this one, Kathleen. It's uh, from Fair Island Knitting. And it, they have actually some very beautiful patterns to it. And I need to sort of, I really like, um, these patterns because they are small um so there was especially one Let's see if i can find it um like this one here, as you can see, I'll try to be careful. Here it is. As you can see, so I have the model and I can choose. Whoa, everything <laughs> dressed. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's like you know when you have all these patterns like this. So it was a clean sale here. So I saved 200 on this one. But um, I also had this one, Kathleen. 
um, I got. Yeah. So, no, best man is Chopper. Chopper is the hopster. Dude, <laughs> Chopper is the hopster. <laughs> I don't have a hopster, so Chopper is the only guy I have here. So, and as you can actually see, Kathleen, <laughs> it's okay, dude. <laughs> uh, Kathleen, as you can see, they, they have the patterns for it, so I can actually stitch them. So, that's that's how it is. So. So as you can see, I can <laughs> make myself a beautiful dress. Yeah. So that's why I was like when you said hopster and chopper, and I was like, but chopper is the hopster. I thought you meant my son. <laughs> no, chopper is the only guy I have living here. No, he's my hopster if somebody is, yeah. So, but actually, I do have um, my pot plant. Philip is actually my husband, as I say. But I could, I could um, marry my Philip. Philip is actually a pot plant I'm married to. I call him my husband. So yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I don't have a net talk about my husband. It's actually my big pot plant. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my pot plant, Philip. <laughs> He's a big beast <laughs> of a pot plant yeah so i got a small number here <laughs> so it's 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 very funny yeah what have i been doing else i have been sorting up yeah, so I love all my bright colors. And I got some new um, things here, like this one. I like to buy this very cheap acrylic. And as I was telling you about, I like to separate them. Yeah, like this uh, in colors and incorporate it in my blanket pile so every time there's a sort of um yeah uh it is a, a philodendron monster um so and what i'm doing i'm doing like this um separate my and sort of put them up in here and i find cheap yarn like this single lost skeins of yarn you know um and sometimes i find out that just throw it out if you don't sell it so when i see a lost skein like this it comes home to me uh, especially when they put them down in clean sale or then i simply sit down and do like this make it into oh i would love to have you visit so what i'm doing uh then i'm taking this gain and roll it down to smaller like this um here it is i think that's enough for now then i simply take my crochet needle like this here and i simply sweep it in secure it like this 
so it doesn't unravel. What I sometimes like to do in springtime, I take some of these and I simply string it on and make like a rest like this with leaves and make a wall decoration out of it. And when I said, okay, I have looked long enough on that one, then it simply go down and will end its life as a blanket and or a very gigantic organ. And oh yes, 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 I have dude. Um I have dyed a lot of yarn, for example. I have this is a very home dyed um wool yarn. As you can see, home flickered um like this and as you can see luna has been into it so i often do that if i find uh i actually found in a thrift store a gigantic um knitted uh jacket or something it was so ugly but it was the most amazing cream colored wool yarn 100% wool yarn. So I think I gave about 50 krona for about two and a half kilogram of pure wool yarn. Because what I did was I bought it, took it home. I simply started unraveling it. And then I simply colored the yarn. Um, and I got the most amazing yarn out of it. And sometimes you can really be lucky to find something. And I was like, oh my goodness, that woman that had knit that thing. Um, yeah, so wool is actually taking on dyeing very well. Uh, like cotton, I like to color cotton yarn um i just got it a little too big here um so it, it's it's like it's it's so you you can find cheap yarn you can you can you don't have to sort of um i got a sweater i got um something i got socks i got gloves out of it and oh yes beetroot and uh, turmeric uh, uh, red kale um, avocado um, you, you can actually use a lot of um, things orange peels are very very beautiful uh orange yellow and the best part is that even um yeah i mean it's 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 give a beautiful shine to it and smell to it when you sort of do that i need to see how much it is okay Okay, it changed colors because this, when you need a, a cheap yarn like this, it gives you some very strange stripes. Uh, it was a very fashionable, I don't know, um, but I, I like to. <laughs> Yeah, it just suck up the dyes. You can even use uh, soda pops and stuff like that if you want. Um, so, and this is also very, very, if I can say so, stress relieving. Just sit down and make all these tiny, colorful, 
play with the color, look at the colors. Oh, you use uh, uh, alum? Yeah. You can do that. You can also uh, do it with uh, alum foil. If you take some alum foil and some bits of salt to it, then it simply uh, take the colors to uh, set the colors. Um, so I, I can remember my grandma to taught me to do that. Um, or she took some an old aluminum pot and mixed it. Oh, he used it to tan skins. What? Oh, yeah. And, and I, I mean, you can use so much from nature. You can learn so much from the old times. You don't really have to sort of go into this modern chemical world. Uh, you can even use green leaves, ordinary green leaves, drive them up. Yeah, baking soda is also a great thing to to do with um uh, i can use the um uh, my grandmother when she was turning rabbit uh, skin she used she collected old urine uh i can remember we had she had one of these old-fashioned buckets for peeing and she collected it and she used that when she had to make rabbit skin and stuff like that because it she was i mean you have to consider uh she grew up from yeah she survived two world wars world war one and world war two and she said that she she learned from her great grandmother and she was very very happy she had learned a lot of old skin yeah urine is a very natural and that's i mean you used to do that you even um yeah flushed out the clothes into it So, oh no, Kathleen, you raccoon. Oh no. I'm so sad to hear that. Tita, how can you lose it? Yeah, people did that, but I can assure you that didn't have all that chemicals. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's, it's like a lost craft or something. I mean, people forget. Um, like I am saying, you know, like I talk with Tita, we talked about prepping. It's a good idea to start prepping. And it's such a good time to start thinking about taking up some of the old skills and crafting because we don't know how, I mean, this world is going to turn on. And I am so happy. I, I sort of also hoard food. You know, sometimes I have a very great food storage. And I also do that. We talked about, uh, I had people talking about what do you do if you don't have any food and you run out of food. Yeah, I mean, it's the old way is the best. And I said, you know what? 
uh, I have saved a lot of um, old buckets and these tin cans and I have also done that I have bought a lot of seed and when I sort of slaughter these big big uh, pumpkins that I get I save the seeds because you might not get um good morning green wizard you might not get um pumpkins onto it but you get the flowers and you can actually eat the flowers from it and you can have some greens you can plant some beans so i have also done that whenever they have a clean sale in um plant earth you know these big ba uh, bags with earth and dirt as i call it you you, you can hoard them because they don't they are not getting too old and you can sort of start growing your own plants and greens you can actually plant um any kind of fast grown greens uh so you can actually give yourself some a boost of vitamin c and stuff like that if if it's the way it is i mean you can easily put your own potatoes and onions and stuff like that if you have the seed and seeds are not getting old uh and you can put up uh people are talking about waste yeah but then you can make your own compost i mean you can easily do yeah i love greens of any kind and you can even grow beans um inside your home in a bucket you can do that easily um so i mean it is a very good thing to to keep the old skills and as we talked about you know thinking about the future and i understand uh, tita and you you like old tradition so do i it is like you know a blessing to know the old tradition how to can your food how to do things um very a uh, very easy um to it and and you know uh, sometimes it's also a very good thing and deal to save um like clothes and you know it's it's like um yarn for example fleet polar fleet blankets stuff like that so you have something to do if you lose lose your clothing and stuff like that and so and and you know the beneficial about most of the fleet is it fast drying so when you have stuff like that you 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 can help yourself a lot um and uh, my grandmother taught me if if your chickpeas are too old or your dried beans are getting old and started to sort of lose its flavor you can actually you know what the ground doesn't care so even if you have some dried beans in of these big bags you buy plant them in the ground and and get new plants for it because there are still seeds and that means you can just plant them and make new plants of what you can't eat and the sa same about dried chickpeas white beans horse beans so so that that that's how you do it oh you use the japanese way that's also a very great way to do that dude yeah 
So I like that way too. Um, so a good deal about it. And you can also, when you're a coffee drinker, you can use your coffee greens and stuff like that. Um, so it's it's like and and you can use your own urine as a fertilizer and your you know people are, what about if you don't have bathroom toilet oh you have to start all over tita yeah i mean uh, and and people say you need extra plastic bags to sort of pack it in and sort of i say why not um I mean, it, it's like, use it as a fertilizer. What are you thinking about? I mean, don't hoard that much plastic. I mean, dig it down. I mean, use it in the ground, make your earth, make it compost. You can use your own composting. Don't throw it away. Because, I mean, who knows how the garbage will be? I mean, it's it's not safe. Oh, you have a, a wild boar. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Can't you make it in uh, like... Um, I have seen people make like uh, galvanized steel, like these plate, big plates. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I we have some good worms too here. Um, here in Denmark, they are actually collecting the bio waste for gas. They are making uh, city gas with it. Um, so that then and the rest is actually uh, putting. Um, that's a great idea run cattle fence yeah so it, it's it's a great idea yeah and, and we have a lot of composter bags here the government actually um give it free so we don't even have to pay for them we can just go down and say we want more of these organic uh, bio bags, and we are getting them. Um, so it's it's like yeah, you 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 can you can do a lot of things. Oh really? Oh, that sounds awesome, Tita. Yeah. That is so great. So, but, but, Tita Kathleen, if you have wild boars, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, uh, oh, there yeah, are tiger worms. Yeah. So, I, I was actually thinking, so Kathleen, you have free pork. <laughs> if it's a wild boar, you can just sort of, you know, put a trap to it and sort of, oops. Yeah. So should it, should it be a little shorted on, on, 
on wild meat, you you can just sort of you know trig it and yeah, put it in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Oh yeah, they are such awesome. I mean, we have so many awesome small creatures that we really need, like the little BCB. Um, we really need to take care of. <laughs> our bees and I mean we really have to do that we have to be more ecosystem to it okay they are legal wow because there are so many of them yeah but I was like the thinking a uh, dog food Kathleen dog food I mean, you 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 can uh, boil it as dog food. Let it rinse out in vinegar. Uh, my grandma, when when we had the problem uh, with wild boars, we sort of um, hunt them and cut them out and put them in water and uh, salt and vinegar to sort of water out their nasty taste for it, and then it went to be. Um, Dog food. Yeah, oh, oh, that can really ruin a lot of things and damage. Uh, I mean, these things can damage an entire forest. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, exactly, Ron. Yeah. Yeah, at least in Hawaii, the taste good. Yeah, but uh, isn't there uh, something about that you you are what you eat? I mean, it's it's like if if it's you know one of these that eat. Crab and garbage. I don't know. Some can smell and taste like. Uh... <laughs> so it, they can taste like crab. So. Yeah, it, it could be we could send Ron down and hunt them and remember. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm not even sure my princess is one to eat it, but um, if they were eatable, Kathleen, at least um, it, it could have been good. But um, we have a problem with wild rabbits that we are allowed to go if we can catch them in the forest. No, 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 don't do that, Kathleen, promise me. Always keep your arms with you when you go out at night. Especially when you have these around. Oh yeah, rabbit is absolutely better than chicken. That's for sure. So, and if somebody wonders, I can see I have some peepers around. I do it in different size and shapes because that means when I mix them in my projects i like the way that they're sort of giving the structure of colors oh that is 
you know what i i haven't heard about that i heard about um yeah it's it's like a fern too you can uh you better do a video run yeah i heard about it that uh sunflowers actually pick up all heavy metals in the ground but you are not allowed to eat the seeds from it but you can plant the seeds uh and get new sunflowers and they will simply keep on sort of cleaning the dirt from uh heavy metals that is a very wise advice uh run that's for sure I am going to remember that too. So, so you you can you can actually re reuse them, save the seeds, and replant them. Yeah. So that that's a great thing to remember yeah it, it you know that's that's one of the things you'd like to have our little group here you know talk with each other learn from each other the old way and instead of you know Okay. Even a new, uh, it also remove heavy metals. Yeah, and uh, isn't it also something about uh, Ron that if you plant the beans, that beans and peas are fertilizing the earth. So if you plant peas and beans, they're sort of helping the ground too. Yeah, you know what? Um, you give sunflower seeds, yeah. Yeah, it's about nitrogen, yeah. Oh, you give sunflower seeds, yeah. You know, you know what? If we give um, we give bread. Um, my grandmother told me when you get into a new home, you will take a piece of bread like this, a slice of bread. You will sprinkle it with salt and put it in a piece of cloth. Then you will uh, put it in the a cupboard. And as long as this bread is there, your house will never go hungry. So when you actually put it there, it's like a, a blessing. Um, so you never run out of food. Um, so, but I think it is a very nice gesture to to do that. Yeah. So we have some few peeps here. Um, oh, you have heard of that, yeah. <clears throat> that that is also a very old <laughs> thing. Um, that sits acrylic. Suitable for scarves? Nope. <laughs> it's suitable for blankets. Of 
So and and the, and you, and you know what the first part is that when you have a big pile of this, you keep filling it in. Your friends still do that, and they're from Denmark. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, celery can do that too. Yeah, from Denmark. Yeah, it's a very Danish thing. <laughs> and and you know what? I think it's very amazing. We are New Zealand, Texas, and Denmark here, and it's like, and we have the state, of course, Ron. Um, I mean, it's it's like. I, I really enjoyed that we can sit here from each our country and share how we are doing. Yeah. So it's it's like how it is. How is it with the weather, Kathleen? Did you finally get some water? Because you are really, really dried out. I saw in the news that all your crops are drying out that in california is i mean i saw some poor farmers all their corn uh dried out <laughs> oh yes 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 danes can drink i'm the only dane that doesn't drink I mean, we have few of us, but oh my goodness, I I, I cannot tell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they make their own wine. Yeah, and beer. They they grow their own beer. Is that the the tall celery or is it the round celery? Because I heard about the 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 root celery is absorbing everything. <laughs> no, God, I was just thinking. Oh. And for my peeps, yeah, I smoke, sorry. Um, yeah, just test it, uh, Tita. Yeah, or you can just do, as we talked about, plant some, some, um, what do you call them? Uh, it has a name. Oh. Sunflowers, but there is also um oh what is the name for it? I just had it on my tongue, but I can't remember the name for it. But there is also another green plant that is so amazing to take up heavy metals from the ground. Yeah. Um, yeah, you have to be so careful about celery and stuff like that. Yeah, I will, I will suggest that too. I mean, yeah, kale and lettuce, uh, something that doesn't absorb it. But you can plant ferns. I heard about ferns should be very, very good at cleaning the ground too. Um, Chita, if you have ferns and they're pretty fast to do it. Mm. Yeah. And the best part is if if you make one row with uh, celery and one row with uh, one of these plants that pull heavy metals out of the ground. So if you actually mix them together, the the other plants um, will take the metal from the ground and leave safe 
earth um for for the eatable plant it's not long ago i sort of read uh, about it that you can actually mix it like that yeah or burn it um I would burn it if I was you, Kathleen, because if you have to remember if the poison still, yeah, yeah, don't compose them, Kathleen, you have to burn them. I mean, really get rid of them because otherwise you will put the heavy metal back in the ground if and kill your worms. Yeah, I, I know, but but what I was thinking, uh, Ron, is to get rid of the ashes afterwards in, in the garbage bin. Yeah. No. Because the benefician is that is there will be no seeds and stuff like that when you burn it. Yeah, yeah, give them to the ground neighbors. <laughs> yeah. And, and don't 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 feed the cows with it. <laughs> so yeah. Run her neighbors is cows. Yeah, you love your neighbors. I would love them too. So just invite your neighbors in when their lawn need to be. <laughs> yeah, Ron has some very, uh, he is a very visit when it comes to garden. I like to listen to him. Even if you live in the town, you can use all these. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Ron, visit uh, Tita's Kathleen's uh, channel. You can see her neighbors. Even, even the dog has moved in. <laughs> I love them. Yeah, it's it's so it would be so great. So it I am so happy I had some free time. I'm so feeling so privileged and thank you to Jude staying up and late at night and for my Tita to get up very early to be here with me. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I am so happy when you come. Thank you for watching. Like I'm do Ron, that is very kind of you. It's so nice to know I have some very wise friends. Yeah, so, oh, thank you, dude. Yeah. So, it's today now the sun is actually shining. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> 
it's not always when I see your video, I talk other because as I told Jude and Tita, I got both of you on my phone and Maria and stuff like that. I like to watch you and keep you and listen to you because sometimes it's no, it's not anything wrong with it. Ron, you did. Yeah. Just push the book. Tell people. I mean, I said it's an amazing book. Um, it really is. Um, but uh, the problem is I don't want to ship it to Denmark. Ron, you have to take a talk with them. They don't want to ship it to Denmark. Because there's a guy who has made a trade war. I saw you, Radis. <laughs> it's a big one. So, because Mr. Total on a pole has sort of um, demanded all American um, goods that are sort of exported or shipped to a foreign country has to be taxed triple and that means uh, our bookstore don't want to take them home because they are too expensive and that means nobody here is going to pay 600 krona or 800 krona to order a book um and that's why they sort of stopped getting <laughs> yeah so this turtle on a pole has quite damaged a lot here Yeah, and the other thing is that he has also raised the taxes on Danish butter and bacon, and that means that there nobody wants to buy anything from, people can't afford to buy from Denmark. So a lot of companies here that normally would export to yeah, so that's what it is with that turtle on the post. He has made so much damage right now. Um, yeah, tariffs. And that means normally it's exported for about five krona. Now it will, for, it, it will cost about $10 now for one pound of Danish butter. Uh, and that's, I mean, nobody can afford that. And he does it because he doesn't want people to buy from the foreign. Yeah. And that's exactly what I mean, Kathleen. And that means if, if you have to buy it, that costs so much. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's how it is. And that means that because he, uh, the turtle is convinced that America can grow their own food and they don't need to support other, I mean, import aid because you, you, you are losing a lot of food by importing a lot of things, right? He, he, it was he spoke in a, a Danish um, news, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, they are getting so outrageous, and I have my heart has been with you, uh, Tita. I can assure you, it's it's like, oh my god, my heart is bleeding for the American people. It really does. I can assure you, you are in my prayers. Um, I cry for you. I pray for you. I 
I mean, I like candles for you because, <clears throat> yeah, um, nobody can afford to buy and uh, the turtle on the post, he, he keep playing golf and what what is he actually doing? Um, that that's what I mean. It's it's horrible to think about. Um, I saw that farmer. Yeah, and and that's that's the most horrible about it. That he he wants. I mean, all these foreign um, countries. I mean, these big corporates that only think about their own pockets. Not the people. Um, it, it it is so devastating. You are so much welcome, my Tita. You are in my heart. I can assure you. I saw this poor farmer. He uh, and his entire crop was nothing. It it was so dried out. And I mean, he 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 could lose his farm. And there was absolutely no help from the government or anything to help that poor man. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like crazy. It really is. Yeah. Oh my God, you! I was so terrified because I heard about um, pretty light. Yeah, and I, I just need to put it because. I'm testing your yarn, and I found this was a uh, slight lightweight, so I need to put an extra color to it. Just a minute, yeah. That's a lot more decent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, Exactly, that grow in your country and ship it out of the countries and give him, yeah. And that is my uh, opinion too, dude. That's why we are giving the land. We are here to be caretaker of it and live for it. I am also very against that you you are being born and some people have taken the earth in their position and you have to pay these people money to live on an earth that you are given i mean that is greedy from people you're making people poor who i mean they are not allowed to grow your own things you're not allowed to walk on the earth if you don't have money but by god we are born without money right i mean the the land is given to us so we can take care of it grow food and maintain it but i mean these greedy bastards i mean they are destroying the land we live on we can we can everything is poisoned and that's i i really angry about it and i i think it's horrible And and that way we can actually see the greediness uh, grow bigger and bigger. I will protect what I can. It's it's like I mean I am so pleased that people will fight for the country, fight for who we are. Um, so I eat naturally. I eat. Uh, locally, and I said I don't want to eat anything that is not 
by the season, uh, you can even now go and buy uh, African Egyptian strawberry. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah. Bless your heart, dude. Yeah. It's like because they're greedy. Yeah, love you too. And I love you to the bone, Tita. He say hello. Your granddaughter, have a great day, school. Oh, yeah, they are greedy governments. And at the same time, there's destroying the land we are living in. So, yeah, but you know what? <laughs> yeah, always buy local. That's what I'm doing. Or I grow my own. <laughs> so, yeah. So, but um, it is late now for you, um, cute. So, <laughs> oh yeah, in New Zealand, yeah. You, I hope you do that. Don't let them take the land away. So. Yep, and I am mixing colors here. Yeah, I will come and visit. <laughs> so, I have promised. No, they ain't gonna take it. So, as you can see, I got some more colors. Thank you. So I will one day be traveling and see the world. I'll take it down here <laughs> and take a break because I have been on for about two hours. It must be two in the morning with you, dude, in New Zealand. So. But we got, <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that is so great. But you know what? I keep saying when the day I win in a lotto and I was like, oh yeah, that day will never come because I never buy any lot lotto tickets. So how can I win? <laughs> oh, you ain't going, <laughs> it's Friday. Yeah, you are a day ahead of us. It's only Thursday here in Denmark. Uh, yeah, it's about uh, two o'clock afternoon here in Denmark. So you are actually 23 hours ahead of me. 18 hours. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, it's 18 hours from Denmark to New Zealand. Yeah. It's, it's actually pretty, I mean, amazing to think about. So, yeah. Yeah, it, it's because um, you say it is about uh, 1 5 a.m. here it is 2 p.m. right now yeah you you just hang on um i'll show you i just need to put this in uh here
Yeah, I need you to. Pop, 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 pop. What happened here? It's because it demanded power. Power. <laughs> it's a power vision. So we are all good. There's we lost a lot of peepers, but that is okay. I want to show you. Um, oops. Hang on, hang on. I want to pick up this cute. This is the time in Denmark, if you can actually see it. I hope it is not mirrored. Let me have a look. No, it's okay. Uh, link to StreamYard and we can talk to you. Okay, I didn't know that. And how how you do that? Um, so this is afternoon. As you can see, if I turn you around here to the window, um, I don't know how, how to do that, but um, maybe later we can explain it to me how we do it but if i sort of sneak you around just a little bit like this you can actually see outside it is pretty daylight the sun is actually shining but don't be fooled don't be fooled it is damn it cold <laughs> it's freezing Oh, yeah, I'll check it out later. Um, uh, stream. It is cold. <laughs> it's very sunny, but I have I have tried that. Um, I, I, I just noted stream. Yard. Is there a e oh, I forgot an A here. So stream York. I'll check it out and see if I can convince my computer to do it. Yeah. <laughs> but and and sometimes, you know, when you wake up and you have, you, you know, when you have a, a warm in your house and the sun is shining and you just, oh, yeah. Uh, so I can have up to eight people. Wow. That is so cool. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. It, because, you know, sometimes it's, it's, it's very nice if you can talk to people when you streaming and uh, also for you guys so because I have pretty many times you know wanted to sort of you know when you see something crafting ask a questions and then you have to use the phone I really I really don't like to use my phones um, you know when you have to write and it takes a time and I found out it also remove um, the chat to it and it's it's like horrible um and sometimes you know you are writing one thing thank you yeah yeah <laughs> i do i i do look after it um yeah 
I just um, needed lifted because it was too tight. So I just need to sort of have it loosened up a little bit like this, lift it up. <laughs> yeah, cell phones are hopeless. I mean, it's like, yeah, I, I always keep saying, you know, it's, you know, a phone, a cell phone is for a call, text message, and this. Yeah, <laughs> can you see that? And it's, Actually, my natural color, I just want to say to people, I have never in my life colored my hair. Uh, and I am certainly not going to do that. Um, I might have done it once. Yeah, I have uh, blended it up with... Um, some when I was very, very young, but I have never sort of colored it. And it is a lot of, as you can see, it started to gray up a little bit here, but that's natural. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's not good because it's I you also have to I one of these things I also laugh a lot about these young people that sort of you know care so much about the environment and something. And when I tell them then you have to stop dyeing your hair, don't use all that makeup because they are actually using animals to test it on and when I start to, you know, and the fashion and stuff like that, I am absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and, and you look like a scum. <laughs> you know what? It is so nice to have uh, this. I really like this uh, gray. <laughs> oh. I, I really love skunks. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I love skunks. They're beautiful. Then you are very, very beautiful. Yeah. But you can also see when I do this, my hair will do like this, as I told you about. It will sort of start to do like this. <laughs> And and if I start to 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 put a comb to it, I have sort of put some um, organic uh, coconut oil into it with some uh, essential drops. I do that um, oil drops to it, um, and then I sort of smooth it out and stretch it and. You sort of uh, braid it so it sort of, you know, straighten out a little bit. Um, oh, I look so young. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so, no, and thank you. Bless you. Yeah. No, I, I really don't want to sort of put dye to it. Um, because it's not natural. I mean, I really like, yeah, I mean, uh, warm honey. Uh, yeah, the Chiba one. Yeah, you can do that. You don't need all that expensive uh, chemicals. And I don't even have any, I mean, I don't have any makeup. I don't even have a mascara or all that crap. I don't own uh, fancy creams and stuff like that. I have my aloe vera plants. Um, sometimes I use to take a leaf and just open it up and take uh, the gill and put in my face. Um, 
Yeah, what's the makeup? I mean, because you you know what you are doing is you are sort of denying your own skin to breathe. Uh, and and it costs you a lot of money, and for what use? I mean, sometimes people, women keep calling men fake, and I said, you know what? Your beauty, most of these young girls' beauty, you can remove with a whip wipe. I, I can assure you sometimes when I see on a girl, and my son said, Mom, you know what? I wouldn't dare to take that that girl out swimming because she was simply i don't know how she will look like after she 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 get all that she has stuck into her face removed and i was like i couldn't help laughing because my god he is right i mean and when you see uh, these tutorials about young girls to be beautiful you have to buy for a couple of thousand Pounds, cream, and stuff like that. Yeah, it. I mean, you don't. You don't have to 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 to. I mean, use all sort of crabs. I use sometimes if I want to sort of clean it out. I use an uh, egg white whipped up egg white with some uh, oat grains to it. Um, or some flower, I mean, you can cross rose leaves. Um, so you really don't need all that crap uh, to get a beautiful skin or keep yourself young. I mean, the most beautiful people was actually from our ancestors. I mean, sometimes you have to consider it is so amazing that people have been surviving so many uh, centuries and suddenly because these greedy bastards, yeah, it's an old recipe, yeah, they want to make money off it and convince young people you can't live without that, you can't live without that and you have to do that to your skin, you have to fill it up with chemicals and stuff like that and I'm like, oh. They never age, that's so true. I mean, it's all these chemicals doesn't do you any good. Um, so it's it's like I am past 50. I can see, I have lived a half, a little over half a century. <laughs> so um, yeah. Uh, and I say, I don't care about, I don't mind to look like a 50 plus year woman because I have been living 50 years plus. Um, and that's how you look like. You get gray stripes, you get like this. I mean, that's how it is. Um, be proud of who you are, even you gray and you know what? I don't care if my this is not straight. Um, it's good enough for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's. Thank you, and you too. Bless your heart. I mean, I have never missed all that crap. I never sort of thought about it. And my God, I had money to buy things with. I mean, no. Yeah, big booty and all. Yeah, why did that? <laughs> why did YouTube want me to to sort of big booty and all? Yeah, what's wrong with that? <laughs> it was YouTube to ask. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like. I mean, that, that's also why we talked about people say you can sell that, you can make that, you can make a lot of money, you can you can be rich. And I was like, you know what? I am rich. I have uh, great friends. I have a great son. I have 
roof over my head. I have food every day. Um, I have so I can pay the bills that I am forced to do because somebody wants, uh, don't want us to be free on earth. So as long as, and yes, I have bad teeth and so what, um, missing some teeth and I'm like, you know what, I don't want to go and spend a fortune on to have perfect white teeth, right? Um, because I can't take them with me to the grave. And as I say, as long as I can chew my food, there's absolutely no, and I don't have a toothache. And you know what, that's it. We were not born with pearly white and and stuff like that. And you, you know what, I like the natural aging of a person uh, and the natural look for it. Um, Oh, thank you, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's the soul we are talking about. Um, so you, 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 you don't, and that, that's my opinion. And you don't go out. And as I told you, I have a lot of projects. And yes, I do eat cakes. And you know what? They have a sale on these um, mazarine or mozzarella, I don't know, but it, it's um, almond flour uh, cakes for a dollar. I paid a dollar for eight of these. <sighs> mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So I paid a dollar. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you know what? Sometimes you really need to sort of spoil yourself. Go for it. Don't think about, you know, live today and take one day at a time and as I, I told you nothing is ever going to be wasted here and when i hear people say every household throw up 400 kilograms of food and i'm like not in my household how can you put my whole household in that Starting and say, I am one of these people. <laughs> mm. Oh, no, oh, yeah, you have to be very careful. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Mm, oh, that is a life change to him. Yeah, but dude, you can make some um, pineapple Sweden. Uh, you can make some um, recipe. Listen to me. Take pineapple, blend it, mix it with. Um, Almond flour, uh, oak, oat flowers, flour, um, blend it up and blend the pineapple, then mix it with the almond flour, and uh, if you have these oat. Um, I, I can't pronounce it, but I think it is. Oh, I think it's it's spelled like this: oat. Blend it to flour, 
mix it up. Um, yes, exactly. Yeah, oat, oatmeal. And <clears throat> mix a little bit of, um, yeah, oats, oats. The, the, the second one, the, the, the grain for it, blend the grain so it, it's getting a, like a flour. And mix it together. And you can actually make um, and add a small amount of, I don't know what, you, if you have a baking, if here in uh, Denmark, we call it baking, baking powder. I think it's something like baking uh, soda. Um, I'm not so sure <laughs> what you call it, but and then you add a small amount of um, corn flour or corn starch, corn flour, till you get like a firm dough, dough like, and you put it in cupcakes. And that 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 is actually a very yeah for for rising and mix it up with some corn flour uh, or corn starch yeah and and mix it like you are making like um muffin muffin or cupcake dough uh, and fill it into cupcakes and bake it. Uh, as you would an ordinary um, cupcake, and and I can assure you, first of all, like a muffin. Yeah, I make that for my grandmother, and I I make them for a friend of mine that are diabetic, and she cannot have, a, but she like sweet things. You can also mix uh, the pineapple with sweet apples if you have some uh, apple sauce without sugar. Sometimes you can get some apples, or it, you can make them with peaches and, and and sweet fruit like this. And I can show you there, are, uh, but no eggs, no eggs, no milk, no. Yeah, or dates. You can also use dates, but then you have to consider the juice because the uh, uh, you have to have some. But you can use ordinary water, or you can use sweeten it with um, clean apple juice. I don't know, but here in Denmark. We don't add sugar to our juice if we go and buy. Yeah. Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah, it, you have to sort of be, be sure that you have some moist to it. We, we, when we have apple juice here, we don't have sugar into it. But I heard a lot of people that, especially you notice there, yeah, make your own apple juice. <laughs> so, because I can assure you, a lot of this you can buy. It is so filled with artificial sugar, and you don't need oil or anything. Or if you want to have a little fat to it, put a little coconut oil into it. But you don't need fat or oil in these cupcakes made uh, with pineapple. Uh, so, and I simply just, you know, take my whole almonds and blend them into a flour. I don't buy the flour. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we, we need to make something to get together and see see each other and say hey yeah it's i mean it's it's like and and it's also cheaper than go and buy i don't even want to i can assure you don't read the ingredients in this one i mean if you start to read what these guys putting in this I'm doing it. 
Okay, sugar, whole flour, eggs, oil, palm, uh, vegetable fat, kartoffel, uh, um, oh my goodness, I shouldn't read that. <laughs> But my God, they're tasting good. Ch Chaba loves them. He loves them. And he is a little skinny guy, so he can have them. <laughs> but once in a while, spoil yourself. I mean, for a dollar. And if you actually think about if you can go and buy eight cookies for one dollar. Yeah. I mean, look at all that. Uh, look at all the packaging. Yeah, see, look at all that just for eight small cookies that could have put in a smaller. I mean, a lot of time when you go out and buy things, I oh my God, sometimes, you know what, you come home, you have been shopping, and you have to go and empty the garbage bin because you have just as much garbage packaging yeah packaging yeah and i mean plastic wrapping it's it's like no 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 i can even if 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 i see meat on sale and I, it it comes in these big plastic packaging and you know you have this big plastic thing and you have one little small beef, you know, sort of vacuum packed. And I mean, so it looked like you're really getting something for your money. Yeah, you're getting plastic. And, it, and, and you know, the meat is a quarter or less than as big as the packaging. So I, I keep sort of saying, no, no, don't buy it. Go to the butcher. Go to the butcher and take your own packing with you. I mean, it's like, you know what? Uh, go to a real butcher, bring your own Tupperware bags. And I can assure you, my local butcher, he is so happy when I come and I bring my own bags. Yeah. And I even uh, take my own if I need. Uh, beef meat or sausage meat I just go and pick up my Tupperware bring my Tupperware and say I need two kilograms and he sort of pack them up for me and I go home and I can just put them in the freezer and when I need to use it I can take it out clean the book and bring them again and yeah Tupperware is plastic but you know what guys I have uh, some people here but I also want you to say yeah I am going to live plastic free then I go to my kitchen throw out every plastic I have you have already polluted the earth with even more plastic that could have been recycled what I do is if you have plastic, reuse them. Keep reusing them until they are dead. Don't buy anyone. But as soon as you have four of these are totally non-usable anymore, you can throw them out. But not until you have used them for the fullest. And I can assure you, these plastic containers will last your lifetime if you take care of them. So that means as long as these are in your household, you can reuse them and reuse them. And when they are not for you reuse, put them in a recycled system. Don't just throw it out. If you get a lot of plastic bags, I mean, it is more environment friendly. Thank you. Yeah. 
I mean, I have seen people now I want to leave uh, and they start to throw everything out and go and buy something new. You just polluted the earth with even more garbage. Yeah, to break them that, yeah, that is also for me so wrong, dude. I can assure you, I can be so angry. I mean, there's nothing wrong with plastic. The problem is they are sending it to the poor countries that has no idea how to get rid of it. I mean, it's, have you seen the lakes and how they are polluting with oil? You should see the Americans, how they have, they have left poison in, in, in the lakes that poison half of Greenland. We saw uh, the, the news told us how the Americans have left poison running out. They have simply taken poison liquid and just dumped it in the river and in, in the fresh water. They are polluting the water. I mean, I, I, I was so angry. Why are people doing that? It, because it's greedy. I, I can get so angry when I see it. And yeah, you can use all that plastic. You can burn it. The beneficial about Denmark is we, we don't have any landfills. Everything that is sort of go into our garbage is burned to ashes. And the burning process is actually producing our heat. So that means when I throw everything out in burning, it gets burned in a big closed burner. And the heat from that burner is actually heating up people's houses. Yeah, it's we they don't care. It's people like us. Yeah, you're absolutely right, dude. We are trying to, to make a difference. And as long as we are just, you know, two people, three people, we can make it different. Right? And and for the animal kingdom, yeah, you can drink milk, but who says you have to kill the calf and Take all the milk and make it into, I mean, not healthy products. Fill it up with chemicals and sell it because you need to make money. And you'll do anything for people to, to buy this milk product because it's fancy. No, the only milk product, dairy product you need is milk, cream, cheese, and yogurt. And that's it. All the other stuff, you don't need it. You can make your own yogurt. You can make your own cheese. But we don't because we are brainwashed to believe that we are going to have all that crap to survive. Isn't it true, dude? We are brainwashing our kids to say you can't live without that. You have to have all that crap. I mean, it's only for their own profits. So it, it's like, for me, it is, no, 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 no. So that's why I sort of, I am not a very good. Oh, yeah, they are, they are brainwashing. It, it's brainwashing our kids. And you know what? The, the, the worst part, dude, is that. Our young people don't learn how to think. They don't learn how to use the think out of the box, how to live. They are sort of put in a media poster. Make exactly, dude. Sad as true. It's like you know, it, you're not welcome. You you need to be squeezed into a, I mean, a box so you can survive and. You know what? It is so amazing. It's brain. You got the word for it. Brain control. Yeah. That's what it is. So, and we don't like it. I don't like it. And I don't like people telling me that my channel is not good enough because 
I don't want to go and buy a lot of stuff from Michaels and all these other fancy craft stores. No, if I want to make something, I want to recycle in something useful. I mean, I like to make junk journals, but I also make them so I can write in them, make them into like history books. They are disinterested. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you need to fit in. Um, that's for sure. I like to knit my, my own dresses. That means I have unicus. I, I'm the only one who have this. And, and people can recognize me. I make my own cheap clothes, as you saw. I have shown you how I make this red sweater. I make my sweatpants. I have shown you how little you need. This has costed me 40 krona to make. And that's it. I even got some, yeah, neckties or what you call it to keep shower warm and of the rest of it dude i will make a video how you make fleet yarn now people have shown you how to make plan out of plastic i make yarn out of this old fleet and crochet blankets shoes <laughs> Yeah, it's it's exactly what I mean. Yeah, they can't make money out of me. <laughs> and 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 that's exactly what people want. They want to control you. They want to sort of, you know, they want to to make money off me. They want me to buy anything. They want to make me a customer. I can't do that. I don't want to do that. When I have extra, I go and buy. Yeah, they absolutely think we are stupid. I mean, that's what I am. So, nope. But when I have some extra or I sell a little bit, I want you to know that now where the pasties are going so bad thanks to the turtle on the post i have more difficult to ship it i can ship to new zealand i can ship to canada but i am i am going to try if i can ship something to america but i don't want because you know what i can risk you people are going to pay uh extra fee on it and if I find out of that, I will put the price so you can pay for it. But otherwise, no way. No, 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 no. Nope. Nope. Um, because you know what? Do I have to upcycle something, recycle something, reuse something? I want to reuse it in a way that is useful not make anything that just has to be a new sort of junk that means uh, if i have to hang it on a wall and just look at it nope <laughs> yeah oh yeah people power yeah and and that's um <laughs> yeah pre-love yes exactly I, I mean you have to make something you can use hello <laughs> welcome Kristen crafting with Kristen good to see you I'll make a little long live stream today because I have some time here Because later on, I have to go and I have sworn to myself, I want to have a relaxed day today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're getting treated like dirt and that's why I am here. I am absolutely here for them 
and making warm soups and busy busy when it's getting cold. And then I'm here and making warm clothes and stuff like that. And sometimes I buy some beautiful presents to these who cannot afford it themselves. And when I do, because I know some of the people can't pay me back and I don't want that. It is a gift given with love. That's for sure. And I like to do that. Surprise friends or people I meet with something I know they would never be able to buy themselves. And then I will surprise them with that thing. Um, so, yeah. But it was so good to see Maria and Tita, Kathleen. So, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I talk from the heart and you know what? That is also one of the things that people sort of complain about. I am too honest. And I say, how can you be too honest? Right? I mean, don't rub it in. If you don't like to hear the truth, don't come to my channel because I am telling the truth. I don't rub things in. I mean, no. <laughs> yeah, Kathleen and Tita and Ron, Thierry, yeah. So that that's how it is. I mean, it's like, you no. Know, <laughs> yeah, I really piss them off because I noticed a lot of times people are leaving my channel in anger, but I really feel I have a way to sort of piss people off. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Even here, I, I can assure you I can piss off people <laughs> by telling the truth. and. Uh, like these young people here, dude. We can take an example, right? I mean, it's like they have taken so much big loans in in this. This is a uh, a share part. That means we buy a part. It's like an owner part, and they have borrowed a lot of money, and now the government has actually raised the taxes and you know, want more money. That means they just found out that their apartness has lost 25% in value. And the problem is they want to have it high valued so they can borrow more money. So a lot of these people have also borrowed money in on their apartment. It's like owning a house. I own my apartment. And they sort of overloaned it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And now they sort of found out that the government had sort of, you know, and now they're really shit their pants because their apartment ha lost 25% in value. That means it has been over loaned. And that means the bank will come like this because, oh, you have loaned too much money on the value. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I am I am debt free. I have set an honor to be debt free. 
So for me, it has absolutely no, I mean, <laughs> and I have kept saying it, right? And and for me, it is like, okay, I haven't lost anything because I don't have a loan. I saved up the money to get this apartment. I have saved my own, I, I mean, every penny. And And who is the stupid now? Now they're angry about me because I was right, right? I was more smart than I should be allowed. Yeah, I paid it off. And I have been like, it, it's like, you know what? <laughs> uh, welcome back, Kristen. Yeah, it's it's like, yeah, stupid, stupid, stupid. Yeah, <laughs> I won. <laughs> so, you know what? You also say that I mean, which the smart part? Oh, you was on your cell phone. Okay, Kristen. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's it's like uh, um, you have to be thinking about it. Yeah, it it's exactly cute, and that's what people actually, you know, getting pissed off is because I might look stupid, as I say, and sometimes I have to say, you know what? Sometimes it's a benefit, and you look stupid, and uh. And, but but you show them off that you you're really not that stupid. You can't trick me into do things like that. I mean, it's like the really one to to try out, and I say, yeah, I was right. How stupid do you really think I am? I mean, I might look stupid, but trust me, I'm not. And 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 it's like the government. I I keep telling them, you know what? No, you are not getting me into that. That's for sure. I don't want to play their games. I don't want to buy all that crap and shit and waste my money. And I don't expect people to do it. So. No. Oh, you don't want you. Okay, you better close the door. Oh. Oh, it's your dog is. Okay, so you can't. Yeah, then bring him inside with you, Kristen. And even I can crochet with a cigarette <laughs> thing. So, but I look forward to it. I need to check out um, when you're starting on your, I, I saw Dye Dye um, not long ago, your mother, right? Yeah, crafting with Dye Dye. She makes some fancy things. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> thank you, yeah. I mean, you, you, you yes. I mean, we are few, but we are, I mean, we are strong few, and I like that. I mean, I like to sort of go and see what, what can I get out of that. Um, anything useful? No, get rid of it. I mean, that that's how it is. Um, like here, this is. 
No, he doesn't want to move. Oh, okay. You you treat her like one. Okay, I misunderstand. You love her. Yeah, I can understand that. Okay, Kristen. So as you can see, I'm not carrying it. I'm resting my crochet here. And of course you are going to and you have to clean your house room so you don't have a fire Oh, you throw away a lot of paper, okay? Yeah, I, I have a lot of paper too. You, ha you have too many papers. Oh. Yeah, I was actually thinking about what are you using for heating? I mean, air conditioner, okay. I never, no, nothing in your room. Okay. Do you, do you mean a heat pump or something? Like, like electricity heat, um, that, that can, uh, cause a fire? Oh. Okay. Okay. But 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 you don't have to throw out the papers. But but your mom wants you to to get rid of it. But but why I I mean. I, I don't understand that, Kristen. I I you your room is too clustered. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh. So you you're still living with mom and dad? Yeah. Ouch. You you can't get them in um <clears throat> 
I was thinking about getting some organizer or something. You can sort of collect and keep them in, you know, you can you can get these um, plastic boxes, big plastic boxes with a lid on, and you can put them in these and store them under your bed or something. So it doesn't sort of cluster up. Organize it a little bit. Um, so it doesn't cluster. Yeah. Yeah. Because that that's how I sort of sort out um, <clears throat> my cluster paper. In boxes like this. I, I have a lot of fabric and yeah. Um, I, I don't mind the mess. I mean, it's of course you can't have it. I, I mean, I, I I don't have a. I I have floors, but you know, it's like I I am going through my things. Is a yeah, you you're absolutely not um, alone about that. I mean, it's a big thing because you can't be crafting, uh, be a need I, I mean, sometimes your, I mean, your creativity comes with the cluster, a lot clutter, as you call it. Um, yeah, it can sometimes be too much, but then you go through it. Um, I don't throw anything out. I just sort of organize it a little better uh, because the problem is when you start to sort of throw, it can be overwhelming, that's for sure. And then you just have to sort of once in a while go through everything and reorganize it and start crafting with it and make it into junk journals and um inferior some something you can put into or make some small clusters paper clusters you can decorate with um so yeah it can be overwhelming when you have a lot of things but i also do that i save them because it does save me a lot of money by saving my things because as I also told Cheater and Kathleen is I'm when I have things that I sort of you know I have no idea right now what to make of them or I have some yarn that is fun or something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like you you can do that. I, I maybe I should do that because sometimes I told Kathleen that I am making some um, surprise boxes. Um, oh yeah, I I know these bell checkings. They are nasty. <laughs> um. See when when I have things like these, um, I have sorted out. I started sorted out in colors. Um, you know, sometimes if you want only pink colors, orange stuff like that, I started sorted out. I start up with mixing all colors, 
And when I sort of find out, okay, it seems that I have a dominant of a certain colors, I sort of start to sort them out, like the blue dress I made or the red golden. And all these colors I have less of and can't mix so well. Um, I sort of put it in a big bag. Um, what I'm also doing is sometimes I have some craft paper or have some, you know, fun yarn, um, like I, with bubbles and stuff like that. And I sort of, okay, I don't know right now or fabric, for example, I sort of put it in a box. Um, also like little craft things and I make these little boxes and once in a while I take out a little box and say, okay, what can I do with this? And, you know, then you leave it in the little box. <laughs> Got you. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's my way to show my love and my appreciation of your here. Um, yeah. So you just saw it. Yeah. So I think you deserved it. But what you can do is you pack them up in little boxes or plastic wraps or something and. Ah, <laughs> oh. so and and that means you you can sort of once in a while I just you know when I'm you know run out of the ideas what I already got I sort of start packing them down in a box and put it away and pick out a new box and suddenly you wow. I almost forgot I got that paper. I forgot I have this. And suddenly, before you know it, you have used up and got the new ideas for what you have been saved. And in that way, you have also saved a lot of money by not have to go out and buy new papers or anything else you can color the papers you can do whatever you need to do but i can see it is but it is also easy for me to say because i i i <laughs> i don't live with mom and dad i don't have anyone here that sort of oh yeah i do have some try to control how i live or what i need to have and i just told them you know what this is my stuff and i am the one that sort of pays the rent here so that also mean um i can keep what i want um and no i mean I don't want to live in a place. Yeah, I, I mean, it's so sad to hear people throw things out just because it doesn't suit <laughs> other people. Um, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, she could put them in a, make a little crafting, put it on Etsy. If you have a little Etsy shop or something, you can put it on the channel and say, I have li these little uh, envelopes, pack them in big envelopes and say, I surprise paper pack it for maybe four or five dollars and, and you can ship them to people or to goodwill yeah um but but i have never been very good at the, i mean to 
throw anything out or just, you know, fill up the landfill. Um, I, I keep telling people that I am my own landfill. That means it really has to be something that is absolutely no use anymore before it go and get burned. Um, go in the garbage and like the plastic containers and stuff like that. I really don't go and buy. I sort of when I party time, okay. <laughs> It's, it's like, you know, recycle all over. Um, and I'm also very cautious about what I'm buying. I don't just go out and buy a lot of stuff. Because I like to use what I have. Um, but once in a while, I go and buy, you know, a skein of yarn or something in different colors or different structures and mix it. And that means I can mix so many beautiful blankets. I can, I make fleet yarn. I make a lot of stuff here, even my papers, my craft papers. I make boxes and use them for a lot of things, but I do understand you, Kristen. I really do. <sighs> Let's see if what I can come up with here. I have that one. I have that one. I don't have that one. Is very I put it in that one. Yeah. So I just need to put some extra. Um, that is look. You're back. Welcome back. Cute. I come back. Yeah. So you are back. Yeah, but as I said, we, I'm. I'm not good good at throwing things out. Um, I I keep them, save them, and uh, how much is one coma? Oh, one krona, one krona. Oh, if you consider. Um, one US dollar is six Danish crowns. Uh, so one dollar is uh, six Denmark krona. So as I told you, that packet of cookies here cost me six krona. And that means that that's the same as one dollar. Um, sometimes it's 6.5, 6.2, so I just calculate, okay, it's 6 krona, and you're not <laughs> off with it, um, but, um, yeah, so it, it's, it's how it is, but mostly 6 krona is $1, um, So I get, um, often I buy, um, if I go and buy cheap yarn, it's about $1. Um, 
per skein of yarn. Uh, that means six krona or even, um, yeah. <laughs> yes. And and that's, that's also why it is for for me <clears throat> uh, if if you have to sort of you know buy uh, things and they want you to exchange the dollars into Danish and the, I keep saying I don't mind to get mine in dollars but they charge you anyway if you pay American dollars they sort of charge you for their exchange of the dollar. Um, and I think that's that's a little, I mean, especially U.S. <laughs> so it it's like, hmm. And and it's it's like greediness. It sucks. It really sucks. It does. Um, and and especially now when. This turtle ha on the pole has his trade war, and I mean it is. I mean, amazing that the people could give that arrogant turtle so much power. But of course, he's chosen by. Yeah, it's it's greedy. It's greedy, and he's chosen by. He is only a marinade for the rich. I have puppet for to reach this turtle on the post. Um, I'm not even sure he know how to uh, about our royals. Um, I don't know, but um, we don't have problem with the royals. We do pay for them, but. I mean, our queen is making her own money and by uh, making costumes and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I mean, they are really making a lot out of the common people. I know that and I'm not so happy about it because we have to pay for the sort of uh, royals that has to being shipped to France because he can't with the rest of the family and they're getting a pay raise. But I want to say the most expensive here is actually uh, the government, uh, the prime minister and all these uh, ministers and the government is actually the worst part. I think uh, contrary to this, um, yeah, from our taxes, uh, these are also pretty high, but I want to say we have free free medical service. So that means if, if you need cancer treatment or any very expensive surgery or something like that, it, it is free. We have free schools. We don't have to park pay for schools we can go free to the doctors we don't have to pay for a doctor visit at any kind and that's paid from our taxes yeah but i was to say the medical bills are can be expensive and you have to pay a lot of your own medicine but if any accident happened um you can you can go to the hospital and get a free treatment you don't have to pay for it and you will not yeah and and, and our education are free we don't have to pay for school if the kids have to take a school bus they are getting a free bus card so they don't have to, even the parents don't have to pay for their uh, transportation um, um, so I would say it is it is like I mean 
yeah and 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 you can seek for free help and sort of uh i mean even not the preschool is not free but if you are lower paid parent you can ask for um you can be given um a free card so if you are low income family you can actually seek about getting a part of it for free so you don't have to pay a full price and if you live in i can't do that because i have a cheap yeah you can get assistance too yeah for free uh and and you can actually get if you sort of um low income parent with with children and the rent is too high for you and you have trouble paying your rent and live a sustain a, a decent way you can ask for a support for your rent so the government can actually give you about 25% to 50% help for your your rent uh payment uh so you you can you can get a hem- helping hand it is not that i mean i don't know if you can i say that people are poor um are we poor in denmark are we you know what poor people are a lot of poor people but you have to consider if you have just one dollar a day you can survive uh i know it sounds strange to people but i have survived for here in denmark we say 10 krona uh <laughs> see that is the big question no no the problem about homeless problem is we have so many foreigners that are homeless that taking space no you didn't hit a chord but you're absolutely right because this government did do nothing exactly exactly dude because for the government to help you you need to help the government and that means if you are poor people let's say something if you are poor you're homeless you have lost your right to free medication free doctor that means because a person if you are homeless you cannot get a insu- a health insurance card you cannot get a bank account you cannot get things and that means you can't go to the dentist you can't get an apartment because you have no former address to get a new apartment here in Denmark you need a previous address otherwise you cannot get an apartment if you don't have an address you can't get money because you can't get a bank account that means you are out of the system out of sight out of mind they sort of just okay he's wandered off and then you try to survive on the street and you can't do that you will give him that ticket if you're found sleeping under in, in more than two people are sleeping together it is a camp and if you are camping you're getting a ticket and you are thrown out of the city or that government place and all out to do that but do you have an address do you have a job or you have a pension 
You can't get a pension if you don't have an address. So it's, you know, so no, they don't do anything about our homeless. You know, um, a child who has no address can't allow to go to school. So I also say, yeah, we have a lot of things, but are you homeless? You are nothing. You, it is like, yeah. But I want to say something. Um, Hind and Mike, we have a lot of private, private paid and private institutions. I, I mean, not the government, but private people that sort of create shelters for homeless people. So that means where they can have a, a clean set of clothes. That's also what I help about, collect clean clothes. They can have a shower. They can have a decent meal. They can have a food packet. And most of it is definitely not the government that pay for it, but it is private people that does it so i would say what is best how is it in new zealand dude um about homeless i think it's the i mean the problem of homelessness exists also because of the greediness as i talked about earlier in in my stream here about these people who demand you have to pay to be on earth. But how can you do that when you are born without money, you're born without clothes? How can people then sit down and take charges of a person that is born naked? And expect, okay, get a job, get it. You have to pay for, yeah. Yeah. It's the same, okay, yeah, I, I fear that, dude, I feel it. And can you remember, as I told you again in the beginning, I mean, it's, it's I mean, how, how can you treat, treat people like this? I mean, we are giving this earth, we have been giving it to caretaker, and there there are some greedy antichrist people that demand you to pay for, to walk on earth, you have to, Destroy your planet just because you want to make paper money. You you don't care about the drinking water. You don't care about the environment. You just need to make a production of, I mean, garbage. I mean, cheap stuff. Like, for example, I mean, this is a, a dollar store item, right? It costs a 10 krona. I mean, one dollar store is the same as we call 10 krona here. And it is so cheap. And you were like, how much? And the worst part, it, it is a, perhaps a little child that maybe, if she's lucky, get a dime a week to make these clock eight days a week, 12 hours a day. And we pay for it because we don't want to overpay. We want things so cheap, right? And we don't care about the consequences in the poor countries. Like we talked about, about garbage. You have to consider it. Who made this? Yeah. Yeah. And it is like it's fun for them to see a poor person in the ground. And if they can make them even more poor and miserable, it's their joy. And people who like to have joy by knocking down people that is already down, I have absolutely no respect for these people. And what I can only say is, like we talked about, 
digging your own grave. That's what you're doing. You have to consider what you are spreading out. Always find a way back to you. And I prefer to share out good things, give gifts, smiles, good advice, and live humble. And I know I'll get my reward in the end. I will do that. that that's for sure. Cute. And peeps. So, and I feel sad for these people. I mean, it's, yeah, I don't know what to say about it, but it is horrible. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Thank you. And absolutely right, Jude. Yeah, love and light. I mean, you have to remember, it says what you sow, so you are going to reap. So be careful what you spread out, because one day it's your harvest. So think about what you want to harvest. Your poison, your greediness. So... Go out and spread some love, kindness, helpfulness. And I can assure you that's what you will have returned when you harvest it. So it's like uh, my son explained it. It's like you buy a bunch of chickpeas, <coughs> put them in the ground. But it is black beans you are going to harvest, not the chickpeas. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if you can say, compare these to you, but I think it's a good illustration to say you buy chickpeas, but what you are harvesting is black beans. Um, so, be sure that what, what you sort of spread out. <laughs> yeah. E exactly. And and the most best for it, um, Jude, is when you also know that it is people who really deserve it and need it. And you know what? Don't think about if they can't repay you. Yeah. <laughs> so I have taught him well, and I am so pleased about um, that he, I have raised him well. Yeah. So, and I have to admit, I would rather eat chickpeas than have black beans for dinner. So, I'll make sure it is what I put in the ground that is harvest. <laughs> that is going to be harvest. Yeah. So, but dude, four hours, it must be late night. Yeah, I, I love chickpeas too. <laughs> So I definitely would prefer that it is chickpeas that I am going to to house. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you, girl. Love and light. And I'll also say bye from Denmark. Almost four hours talk and playing with colors. The last hour. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Sherry. And goodbye, Sherry. I'm sorry, but I have to go and do some work now. It has been so. <laughs> Thank you. And you too, dude. And I'm sorry, Sherry. <laughs> Love you. 
hope it's okay, honey. Yeah, where have you been? I have been on for almost four hours, Sherry, that's why. Um, so I need to, it's late now. Um, but I hope uh, I'll catch you later. Beautiful, Sherry. Say hi to your hopster, please. So, love you. Yeah, so love you all. Bye.